And so, my sweet darlings, during our last lesson, you learned that stupid snails always insist on development of events going according to their script. And when something does not work out according to their plan, they become restless and angry. But that's not you, right, my sweeties? Now, as always, we will repeat. To be released from a particular script, you must let go of it. If the desired frame is ordered, the script will deliver you to it on its own. By insisting on your own script, you create obstacles. When you communicate non-acceptance, you order the worst outcomes for yourself and others. When you choose the advantages, you receive them. Let's repeat this paradox principle. You should order the desired frame, not the script. What, not how. It is paradox because it does not tie with your standard world views. You believe that you can and must battle with your current reality and that it is impossible to order your upcoming reality. But, really, as you have learned, it is broken approach. How your goal will be achieved is none of your business. It is not necessary for you to know, especially in the early stages. Asking how will only plunge you into the state of despair and horror and the psychological lock will be instantly installed. Simply accept and allow the knowledge that you cannot know how the script must look, which will lead you to your particular desired frame. After all, how are you supposed to know if your character in a film led by a script? Know the result of what you want to achieve and compose the corresponding picture in your mind, verbally or with images, using your plate. Then the script will lead you there and reveal the image. You don't even have to be smart. You can remain in your stupid snail form. Just make sure you stay motivated. And of course, you must be aware, snail. You might find yourself shocked by the script after you order the reality. It might even appear that everything is falling apart around you. It is just unnecessary garbage being tossed out of your reality to make space for new and more beautiful things. It is possible and not necessary that events in the script might unfold as if everything is falling apart at the seams. That's where you will find awareness useful and apply the principle of advantages and benefits. When you apply this approach, you expedite your progress toward your desire. The reason behind it is simple. At the moment of your seeking advantage, you disattach yourself from the established harmful script and transition to advantageous film role. Even if you do not use your plate, and if you are using your plate while exercising the advantages and benefits algorithm, you expedite your progress. Oh, how do I want you to upgrade yourself from being snails to shiny fireflies? Fireflies that come to life in the motion picture. My heroes. All events should make you alert not make you sleepy. Look at them as signals to your awakening. Your task? 
Wake up in time. See reality. Compose reality. This is you. Before. As soon as something happened that you did not like, you went, ah, and started waving your little hands and stamp your tiny little feet. And look at you now. As soon as something happens that you do not like, you wake up and explain, either in your head or out loud, possible advantages and benefits. And then allow your world to deliver you something pleasant, help you get closer to your desire. Now, this does not mean that you should turn yourself into the very epitome of allowing and bend backwards for all and everything. Obviously, not everything carries advantages, not everything is appropriate to allow, and some things are simply not possible to agree with. But don't worry, you will be able to make adequate decision to allow or not because you are triggered into the awakened state. I see myself and I see reality. What was your standard state before? You were either up in arms or submissively agreeing. Both of those responses happen unconsciously, blindly following the old script. The algorithm of advantages and benefits is your conscious decision to be in the state of presence which is equivalent to you walking around in a frozen motion picture as an awakened character while pretending that you are not. The principle of advantages and benefits is fit with its kind. Tracking, imitating, being present, composing reality. By performing the algorithm, you track yourself track reality, and order the direction toward the desired frame. Extraction of advantages is a pure form of imitation because you are submitting to the script on your own accord and you are doing it consciously and with intent. It is important to note that when you are tracking advantages and benefits, you are tracking reality as if from a side. Nobody suspects anything, not the script, not those around you. You, just like the ones who are asleep, diligently play your role, perform your daily tasks, at the same time observing everything from the corner of your eyes. You are present without revealing your presence that is exactly what is needed. Remain undetected as you have nothing to do with anything is very important. Why? Well, did you already forget why? I already explained this before, but I will repeat myself many, many times more. Behaving as if you have nothing to do with anything is the main principle of strolling through the motion picture. First of all, do not show your presence so those around you will not treat you with caution and wariness. Pretend to be asleep, just like they are. Second, don't act directly like you're used to. Don't grab reality by its scruff. Don't be battling with events and characters in the current frame. And as a result, fall asleep and completely merge into the script. You're strolling life through a movie. When your awareness is present, you propel a priming frame with your intention and change the film roles. But with what intention? Our intention, that's what's important. By observing 
unintrusively, as you have nothing to look at, you're activating your outer intention center. Allow yourself to receive advantages and benefits. <laughs>